Hello, welcome to Fountains Abbey here in North Yorkshire. Behind me, you can see the Abbey in all its glory. It's amazing. I'm going to be looking at certain features of monastic life and in particular, we'll concentrate on some of the water things. Behind me is where the old infirmary was. It was built on top of the river and in the trees behind there, there was a water well. Well, it's still there. There are four others somewhere else. We're not quite sure where, and a water cistern. Now, funnily enough, I'm actually stood in the old cemetery. Let's go in to the east wing, or east end of the the abbey. Bit of history. Archbishop Thurston in the 12th century brought a number of monks to fountains. As they, they were not happy with um, the level of discipline in the York Monastery. They, they felt they weren't following the Benedict rule as it should have been. So they came here to create a more disciplined more disciplined environment. As you can see the main church there, the nave. And I'm stood in the chapel of nine altars. There were nine altars along the wall there, each with their own piscina. Piscina is where the water was stored for use during the service. Just walking past the main altar. To either side you'd see the monk's choir. You can see the monk's choir there. The monks would sit in there chanting their Gregorian chants in all their glory. This is amazing. Look at the window there, the, the abbot would conduct up to six services a day. Standing in the centre with the monks, maybe 90, 100. Sitting around. Behind me, here, we have the night stairs. So one of the first services would be at three o'clock in the morning and they would parade down here into the main church by candlelight dressed in their robes just going down the day stairs into the cloisters I just swing round square shaped this is where the monks would spend most of their day that is the choir monks there were lay monks or lay brothers, they didn't come in here. The choir monks are the ones who were responsible for the religious life. Let's go have a look at the chapter house. This is intriguing. Now the thing to understand about most, or many shall we say, monks, they didn't come in here because they wanted to do. <laughs> they were very often, hello, <laughs> they were every, very often sent here by their families, they might be second, third sons, and they would pay a dowry, a dowry to the, uh, to, mon to the monastery, basically to keep them prisoners. They were not allowed to escape. If they did, justice was meted out quite severely, they would be flogged in the centre there with all the, the other monks sitting around. Just a little bit of interest here. That's a, um, a mason's mark. The masons used to, when they were building it, they'd lay so many stones a day and then the master mason would come along and then count how many stones had been used and that's on the basis on which they were paid. You can see we have various um, tombs. Um, 
probably from the abbots, maybe dignitaries, that they were buried here. So, going out into the cloisters. <laughs> Hello. Up there. They're actually in what was the uh, the treasury. Let's just step up. It's just beautiful in here. Fountains Abbey was a very uh, wealthy abbey, and they had lots of treasures. So you needed somewhere safe to put them. So this is where they were position. Oh look at the church there behind us, the monastery. Here we go. Lots of lots of little children here. And a big a big one. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is the uh, the strong room. And it's believed that one king of England stored all of the, the national treasures of England here. More children. Hello. 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 That was the old bookshelf where the monks would pick up their books. And we just pass into this bit here, which is the warming house. And there, there was a big fire in the corner there. And several times a year, each of the monks would have to go through a bleeding process whereby leeches would attach to their body. And blood sucked out, it cleared the humours. We're going through this uh, entrance here, this rather elaborate entrance, beautiful, into the refectory. Refectory. So the, uh, this is where the, the monks would eat. Up to the uh, to side to the side there, there'd be a lectern, and one of the monks would be reading maybe a chapter from the Gospels or from the Psalms. All the monks would eat in silence. They might be using sign language, it's drinking small beer, saying, "No, don't want any more." Behind me is quite, that's, uh, that's quite interesting. It's believed to be seats. The monks sat there because it was nice and warm, warm their feet. Let's just go through here. This is intriguing. These are the dormitories, an eating area for uh, the lay brothers. How incredible is this? Beautiful. The choir monks, they were all upstairs. And uh, the entrance to that was by those stairs. It's a beautiful day. Just Absolutely stunning is uh, this fountain. Behind me here, we have what, what was the gate guest house. Various dignitaries would stay here. And sleep in those quarters. The pack horse entrance to the monastery is behind me here. The monastery was a very, very busy place. People had come from all over the country, or perhaps from all over the world. And uh, they'd bring goods, they'd take away goods, wool, over there, that's the uh, the loose, the loose for the the guest house, 
and uh, just down here you can see the water passing under the uh, under the monastery through those archways there and there's a beautiful pack horse bridge and over there it's the bakehouse and the brew house complete with its own oven quite amazing so just wander over here leave the best to last the outside toilets yes you can see nine stalls you can see them there behind me so when the monks were taken short they'd nip in there during the night don't forget they, they lived upstairs and they slept upstairs and they would defecate from up there into this river and the sewage was carried away back into the the main body of water further along so there we have it that have been dirty work anyway thank you for watching see you in the next video